Joseph decided to take action. He developed a system of his own to deal with his problem. These are the tools he uses to translate color. I'm looking for a location that interests me for the light and color too. I photograph it with a digital camera from various points of view. Then I select the one I consider best after looking at the photo shots in the computer monitor. I do some corrections in light enhancement. The next step is to use the filter called a median to simplify the graphic color information. Then I pick a point in the painting. The color values of the image, for example, the color of the blue in the sky, is in that painting 207 and the light is 75%, according to the color information box that appears on the monitor screen. I now have the basic information to prompt me to start painting. But to do this I have to get out my colors. And to do that I have to prepare my personal palette first. I now take my template, which is divided into 360 degrees, and transfer this basic information to a plastic plate. I mark every 30 degrees and then I mark the basic colors axis for primary and secondary colors. For me, the basic colors are not red, blue and yellow. For me, the basic colors are red, green and blue, like the ones that are used when talking about light. After all, computer graphics is basically lights. This is my color box. I use big range of acrylic colors placed in order by hue values. From 0 to 60, for instance, you will find reds to yellow. From 60 to 200 is yellow to blue. And in the third row is from 200 to 360. Here you will find the blues to red violet. Each tube is labeled with three separate numbers for hue, for saturation and for light. Now I pick a color and put it in the right number location on the palette. You will notice that white, gray and black are in the center. This is because they don't have hue values and therefore they don't have specific numbers. Now I am ready to use the first color. I will start with the color value in the sky, which got me start in the first place. I adjust the color by adding white as I prefer, and then I start painting. I do this each area and color. Now you have noticed that sometimes I add something just like that. I feel free to do this because I am not just simply copying all the time. I improvise as I go along. Here are some of the results of this method.
No solution has yet been found. So for the moment, let us celebrate the artistic achievements of Joseph Girobetto.